Hello again, thanks for joining me. Um, I'm going to try and quickly go through a few bits in this video. Uh, and yeah, thanks as well for all your recent views and feedback. I've still yet to um, look at all the messages actually since my last upload, all the comments, sorry. So apologies, I will get around to looking at that after this recording. Um, what day is it today? It's Tuesday. Uh, today. But yeah, apologies, I'm just a bit behind. Very quickly on the, hopefully the PM code now is all cleared up and it makes sense. It's logical mathematics. Very interesting and curious just how it works there. And um, you probably figured out by now as well, it doesn't happen every year, it happens every other year. So it's this year we're at the 1611 year for having a pm code that's kicking in for today yeah this year i just wanted to show it's interesting that the 4 pm one is obviously 4 pm looks like 1600 hours so adding the equivalent then for 4 pm 4.00 for your clock that was the millennium, so that's when the um, the 1600s started on the millennium, which is interesting, I think. Basic maths, is, as you can see, just adding 400, aren't we? But it's the 4 p.m., which would look like 4, and then 0, 0. The zero is of important in this case, and that's 4 p.m. there. That was the millennium. And you can obviously see as well now, visually, even if it even needs an explanation, but this is why it doesn't happen every year. It happens, it skips a year, then every other year it kicks in again. Because the 4.01 p.m. it has to then match. So the 4.01 p.m. code is then the fire following two years later, 2002, which is why we've not got it obviously straight the way after 11 years, we have to wait 22 years since that millennium for it now to be where we're at now, 22 of the millennium, because so they both have to look the same as each other if it's a time match. Yeah, and every year that it passes, next year it won't have a PM code, but 2024 will. Um, hope it all makes sense from that, yeah. But interesting there how we're talking about 22 and then 11, of course, because that's a famous date in history. 22nd of November. My last video was about killing the me mathinger, the messenger. Shoot, the messenger is the most common phrase for it, isn't it? Shooting, what famous shooting happened on 2211. Anyway, yeah, that's why it's uh, every other year that the PM code then kicks in. It'll just keep going up. So the 1612... PM code year will be the eclipse year 2024. Now I've shown in the comments, hopefully you've read these, sorry, the descriptions, I think I put it in. Now that's obviously 214 in reverse for the 412 PM code. And that's the Queen, again, the birthday. Queen, crown, corona, the crown. That's what corona is, um, and the corona is formed from an eclipse when the moon eclipses the sun. It's got it forms that corona. So, quick reminder there of April two, twenty one. Queen, there. We all know now. You know, we've known for a long time about the 
911 connection as well with that. Still blows my mind. I remember when I first was told that on YouTube. Read it in a comment of someone many years ago now when I first was learning all this. But that straight away just, I mean, that just <laughs> ring alarm bells. Yeah, April 21 then. So this year we've got the 1611 code kicking in, but in two years' time is when the next one will follow, the 1612 year code, which is that 412214 backwards, the Queen. Yeah, that was my description, I believe, under my last video that I left. Um, how that works out. This year is the 411, because 411 plus 1611 is 2022. Kings and Queens, King James Version of the Bible, published 1611. That's the whole point of me noticing this in the first place, <laughs> which was a couple of years ago now. When I actually noticed it, it's ultra relevant this year, hence these vids. Again, yeah, just a visual of how that works. 2024. I have to admit, I am very <laughs> chuffed with myself for coming up with that phrase. Um, I am going to refer to myself as that from now on. That is what I am, the mathinger. Finally found the, the phrase that suits best my purpose on these, this channel in the, the grand scheme of things. It took five years of getting there to... <laughs> I mean, the channel's known as Exit Time, it always will be. But me, I'm aka the mathinger. Giving you these messages. <laughs> yeah, really pleased with coming up with that word, I have to admit. <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud of that one that I had to look at the the G on it. Um, so very quickly then, <laughs> just for the fun. But hey, I'm glad I did because. It's not often that, well, I didn't think I could get that surprised anymore about these numbers and what happens with them, but I'll show you in a minute as to why this one was just like, wow. Real quick then, so the ordinal, straight away you can see why I've shown you that one. It's 421 reverse, isn't it? Queen's birthday, we were talking about. One, two, four. It's April twenty one in reverse. Just that one. Reduce thing, sixty one. Obviously, if you just did a flip of that, what does that become? 19. Let me very quickly just link that into what I have. Talk about 19. For the crown, 19. Eclipse, 19. <laughs> you know the word that I'm on about. But that matches with those 56s there, the two 56s. Yeah, you know the one. So yeah, if you, that's if you turn that around to a 19, we've got the, and then what I just showed there, matching those to 56 for that. But that's not all on the 61, because let me just quickly show what I mean. That's your 18th prime there. 
Uh, of course, yeah, it's a six plus six plus six, but that's not what I'm showing it. It's more to do with the 79 when you add the two together. Um, because that then becomes the year we're in now, the 22. There. 22nd year of the second millennium, the duality, 2 2, 22nd prime. Yeah, that was from that one where it was already the 18th prime for 61. We just added 18 to 61 and got 79. Reveals you 22. Yeah, the year we're in now. The year of the math injure. I'm going to leave that in one for a moment because that's the my favourite. <laughs> Already covered those. Great. You'll be glad of that because I bet you're bored <laughs> already of this video. Quick one there on that one, of course. Don't need to talk about it. But it links in of what we were saying about the Queen's birthday being linked to that date. Because of the 111th day. And that's how many days left on that date. Let me just show you the Jewish 389 for the Mathinger. A word that I've invented <laughs> literally the, in the last few days. For that to then reveal as the 77th prime in Jewish is like pretty crazy. But there it is. 77th prime. Duality, perfection. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> I'm trying to get back in balance after the new year. That's what I'm really trying for. It will never be perfection. But a decent balance again is what I'm after. You can't get more perfectly balanced than that. Duality 77 there, can you? Duality perfection. That's what I'll be aspiring to. If that's the name I'm going to be going by <laughs> 389 77th prime in Jewish for the Mathinger the registered trademarks not counting as any numbers by the way right have we covered them all not quite that one Okay, and just a reminder why I've been bothering with all this PM code stuff over this uh, recent uploads. King James Bible published in that 1611, 411 code for PM is this year when you add the two together, 2022. The Mathinger in English Extended. <laughs> Rapidly becoming my favourite cipher because it's the binary cipher. It uses the zero system of 10 and then 100. 619. I mean, straight away, that's a 619er. San Diego code as well, isn't it? That's their code, I think, 619, San Diego. But anyway, it's 619 is the same when you flip it upside down as well. So you just keep spinning around. It's still 619 when you flipped it all the way around. It's like a 6 and a 9 with the, you know, the mirror in the background. But anyway, the math is your 619. Extended. It's the hundred and fourteenth prime. Four one one. Backwards there. Incredible. Four one one in reverse, revealed in that prime. Six one nine. 
Math and June extended. One one four there. Four one one. <laughs> so yeah, I couldn't believe that on the Jamaica for the May the Mathinger. Glad I looked. <laughs> yeah, it's kings and queens, my friends. Two years time. You can see how that will be the four twelve PM's turn. And that'll be the eclipse year where the moon passes over the sun and creates a corona. Queen crown. Kings and queens. It's April 21 in reverse, as we showed her. Yeah, kings and queens. Again, just that. The Mayathinger in Jewish. Just want to show this one again. It, we showed it was 77th prime. 7 plus 7, 14. Fourteen, really important number. Again, that's how many books that were removed from the King James Version of the Bible. Fourteen. Talking about the King James Version. Kings and Queens. Osiris, 14 pieces. So you could say he was removed <laughs> and into 14 pieces, yeah? Taken away from living to the underworld in 14 pieces. Fourteen books, fourteen pieces removed. No longer part of it. Oh, that's my stomach rumbling again. <laughs> oh dear. Fourteen pieces, fourteen books. Interesting there. I started the video showing about how it was the millennium year 2000 when the 1600 hours p.m. code kicked in plus 4 p.m. It's the year of 2000. They're saying they're from about 2000 BC onwards. Osiris was known to be the ruler of the underworld where we, every man would become associated with him at death. Kings and Queens, y'all. Yeah? Cheers.